I know you like to allow, allow guys to play their game, but uh, a lot of you guys are shooting a lot of long twos. We kind of mentioned it, the three pointers earlier. Uh, is that something that you'd like to see some of those long twos turn into threes? Do you, do you like the sort of numbers that you guys are taking there? Yeah, I think I think we've got to get better um, personally um, at the point of, of, the, of the plays you're talking about. We've we, we got to be a more aggressive, more attacking, and more downhill um, than we've been. And I do think they're all figuring each other out. But I think if you look at, you know, Philly tonight, and I mentioned earlier, you know, their guards, it was screen, downhill, screen, downhill, screen. Down, it, that's what it was. And we're coming off and at, at times we're like probing and we're really not going and we're getting, you know, with their length and their size and their physicality, that's, that's a hard way to live, you know, and then you get caught to your point in a lot of that mid range area. Now, like DeMar to me, uh, like he's just an efficient player. Cause when he gets in that area, not only does he shoot a high percentage, but he gets fouled a lot. You know, he was really efficient tonight offensively where he didn't really necessarily take a lot of shots, but he got to the free throw on a ton tonight. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with certain situations, but f especially with him, but I do think we've got to, we, we can't get caught in no man's land coming off pick and roll. We've got to be a little bit more decisive. I think the more decisive we are, the more it's going to help Vooch personally. I feel like um, what I've noticed in the deficits, and you said of falling behind, it, but it seems like once you get a deficit, the gets a deficit, then they start playing faster, push the ball out and push. In the first half, they don't seem to play very fast. And, and you've been talking all season about this team needs to play. We have way. to play fast. We have to play fast. Um, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, whether it's them reading the game or whatever it may be, the more we're in an attacking aggressive mode. Now, in, in fairness to the guys, in my opinion, I didn't think our defense was very good. I thought the first half was really slowed. I thought we took the ball out of the net quite often in that first half, which did not really enable us to run as much as I would have liked to. I thought after we had that timeout in the third quarter, we kind of came out of that timeout. We had a couple of deflections. We had a couple of steals. And then the pace of the game got going better. I think that for us, we've got to really put our focus on being elite defensively as best we can. Because if we're just going to take the ball to the net all the time, it's hard for anybody to fast break and play fast with the ball being out of the net. I think they shot 50 plus percent in the first half uh, from the field. You know, you're going to be in a very, very low possession walk up game. It's very hard to run on teams and get a lot of transition, easy baskets or even penetration where you know you're taking the ball to the net now i do think to your point sam we, we got to play with more of a thrust i don't think we're coming down even even maybe we're not um going to shoot the ball quickly but we've got to come down with more force we just we've got to be able to do that first three or four games yes i agree now down well i mean the other thing too is you have to look at you know the, we, we we played detroit and that was a really really low scoring game there was a lot of missed shots you know, neither team broke 100 the first game. So when you're playing in that low game, the game's getting like this. There was quite a few free throws for us tonight. They shot the ball well. Um, some of those early games, because if teams don't shoot the ball particularly well, you're going to see us play a lot faster. I think we got to play with a little bit better of a thrust on made baskets personally. That third quarter timeout, Billy, do you remember your general message during that timeout? Because that's when it seemed like the, the personality of your – attack changed a little bit no i mean we talked about some thing i think demar stepped up and really you know had some great things to say just that we need to be more aggressive we need to be more physical we need to attack we need to play you know more aggressively and i think it that his message resonated there in that timeout. um you know i was basically talking to them about pretty much the same thing i think he was kind of echoing the same thing but we came out and we, we did a better job but you know listen we fought our way back in the game. And I've said this before, you know, when you dig yourself a hole by double digits and you're fighting your way back, you know, the Boston game. Okay, great. But it's very, very more often than not, you're not going to be able to come back and find a way to get back in the game. And I said this, it's a hard way to live that way. And, um, you know, we've, we've got to be able to, when we're not shooting the ball well, and we didn't shoot the ball great tonight, we've got to find other means to be able to to win and they're they're obviously a good offensive team uh you know with certainly the way they played tonight the way they shot the ball the last two games against us from three we still got to be able to try to defend a little bit better and and generate more offense for us off of our defense got one more from zoom so go ahead okay you guys have as much trouble in the pick and roll defensively as it looked and, and if so what, what was the issue tonight 
Yeah, I mean, I thought they did a very, very good job of just putting their head down and coming downhill. I mean, that's really all it was. And um, they did a good job screening. I thought our guys battled and fought, you know, to try to get through. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, when they were coming downhill, we obviously was hard for us getting back on the ball. And then, you know, we were trying to rim protect. And then obviously having to close out was, was a challenge. But I think their aggressiveness by Korkmaz, by Curry, uh, Shake Milton, Maxi. I mean, those guys were just really, really coming downhill really, really aggressively and pretty hard. Well, obviously, I think they do a really good job of screening, in particular Drummond and, and Embiid, you know, so they're creating a little bit of separation. And, you know, generally your, your guards are having to work to try to get back on the ball as best they can. And um, and those guys are good. You know, they got good foot speed. So, you know, when Curry comes off and when Cork Moss comes off and even Maxie and Milton come off, they got good foot speed. So it's it's really hard to get back on them a little bit. And, uh you know, we tried to do some different things in terms of bringing the coverage up a little bit higher. We tried to blitz a few times. Um, but, you know, those cars, I thought tonight did a really good job. And then I thought they made some very, very timely shots. Uh, you know, when we were constantly trying to get back in the game, I think Niang, Niang threw one in at the end of the shot clock, which was big. And then there was another big three later. And then obviously closing it out, they made some 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 big shots late in the clock as well. You know, like, uh, the, the kind of the perimeter, like the perimeter defense, you guys are big on the perimeter. And sometimes those quick guys can, uh, it's hard to stay in front of them. I was hard for anybody, but you know, Kemba Walker kind of gave you problems too. But uh, with you guys playing a big perimeter guys. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, yeah, but well, I mean, I think that they're good players. Obviously, you know, MB draws a lot of attention, you know, and because he's such a presence at the basket and even when he's putting the ball down the floor and he's in the middle of the floor and, you know, you're trying to give some support, you're trying to give some help, you know, uh, to, 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 to him in certain areas of the floor. And then a lot of times you're in those kind of closeout situations you're talking about where, you know, their, their quickness and speed to dribble drive and do those things be, becomes a little bit more challenging. The game where you guys kind of fall behind early and then have the the push late. You talked about that kind of becoming a little bit of a trend early in the season after practice the other day. What, what do you think is behind that? And what, what did you see in regards to that tonight? I actually thought we started well, to be honest with you. I mean, we got up, I don't know, we're up by maybe five or seven points. We started the game well. I thought the end of the first quarter, second quarter was not great. That That's really kind of where we dug ourselves a hole and we were playing catch up after that. I thought the second quarter, you know, we gave, I think it was a 30 plus quarter for them. Um, and then, and, and, and we didn't, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well or score the ball well. And that was the quarter, but I actually thought we started the game. Well, like, I don't know what the score was. We got up by maybe five or seven points there, but we, it wasn't like we, the game started and we were down 10. It, it, that, that certainly progressed. I think once we got into the second quarter. I think it was 30, 32 midway through the second quarter, you're down 10 at the half and then you're fighting back throughout the third and fourth. What did you think went wrong that led to that kind of script flipping? Well, I didn't, I didn't listen. If, if, if you really break it down the last time, I, the last two times we played them, I think they've made twice as many threes as we've made. You know, we took 30 free throws. So I think we tried to get downhill. We didn't shoot the ball particularly well in both games against them from the three point line. And if you really look at it, the three point line was different. That was the difference in the game, both games. And, you know, like I said, you know, you don't want to put, whether it be Tony or Vooch, whoever it is on Embiid, on an island by themselves. You know, he had 20 points in the first uh, half, and a lot of it was on jump shots and isos. And when he starts posting up, you know, trying to find ways to, you know, just break his rhythm as much as you can. So you then you're having to obviously close out. But, you know, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. And I think in both games, if you look at it, you know, the rebounding and the turnovers are pretty equal. Um, the biggest differential is the three-point line. I mean, that was the biggest differential in the game here again tonight. Take on, on Vooch's struggles. Um, I don't, I don't, he, he's great. He's a great player and he's a great team guy. I think he's really trying to figure out and you can speak to him about it. I think he's trying to figure out to, how to play with a lot of different guys. He's got a lot of different guys in pick and roll situations, screening actions with him, you know, and I said this, I think maybe after practice the other day, like we've got to all do a better job, me included, in trying to find different ways to find him, you know. And again, I thought we did a better job to start the game. I thought he had some pretty good looks tonight. I thought we, you know, we got him a good number of shots. It was obviously twice as many as we got him, uh, you know, last time we played Philly. I thought he was more involved in the offense. Um, you know, he's a guy that obviously is going to generate offense, create, 
you know, movement, get the ball to the second side. Uh, but, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't shot the ball well. But I think that's more of a comfort thing more than it is that I w- would be worried about him. Does he still look confident to you offensively? Yeah, I mean, listen, I thought the Utah Jazz game was a perfect indication of that. You know, we obviously he had a really hard shooting night. He made a couple shots late uh, that really helped us win the game. Even tonight, he made a big three at the top. You know, it's not like he's turning him down. But I do think we've got to, you know, I think as he works with these guys, he's got to find, we've got to help him find a better rhythm, in my opinion, because, you know, when you're in a pick and roll situation and you're trying to screen and then you're getting out of the screen, sometimes when you're getting it, you want to be able to get it in rhythm. And there's, there's obviously a, a connection to all that stuff. And I do think Damar and Zach and Alex Caruso and Io and, uh, Lonzo, they're they're all looking for him to try to get him in those situations where they can help him play in rhythm. So it's it's not anything that uh, you know somebody's not doing. It's just I think it, there's a learning curve for him playing with all these guys. Do you want him to have the attitude to shoot his way through a slump, or do you think adjustments and maybe not shooting as many threes is something that you should adjust when it's not working? I tried to get him down inside a little bit more than I did the first game. You know, I think I made a, made a comment that the first game I needed to try to help him a little bit more. I mean, we ran some cross screen stuff for him to get him in the post. Um, you know, he kicked it out to Zach one time for a three, I think to start the, uh, start the game and start the third quarter. I thought he had both pretty good looks in around the basket. He just didn't make them. Um, we posted him a little bit more and he does a good job passing the ball out of the post. But I think as, as a guy that's a, you know, in my opinion, a 40% three point shooter, he, he, you can't, he, he, he needs to feel confidence for me, the group and himself that he's got to take those shots. You know, I think that when he's open, he's got to shoot the ball for me. Hi coach, Marta Kiszko from Polish magazine Loja. I have a question. What have you seen tonight defensively from Alex Caruso? Well, I think Alex is a very, very good defender. Um, he's guarded a lot of different guys on the perimeter. He's got really good length and size. He's physical. Um, I think he takes a lot of pride in defense. I think that's why he's good at it. Thank you. Okay, thank you.